What's going on guys, Rudalinol here, and this is a educational video tutorial guide extravaganza <laughs> on uh, transferring files and programs and stuff like that back and forth from your Texas Instruments calculator to your computer. Um, obviously you're going to need a Texas Instruments calculator. Um, in front of the screen you can obviously see a lot of Texas Instruments calculators. Um, now this one right here down at the bottom, that sort of like lightish gray thing, that is a TI-84 plus silver edition, that's what I'm going to be using as an example. Um, there's a TI-83 right beside it. Really, these two are like the most common between colleges and high school students. Um, there's the Voice 2000, the TI-92 up at the top, the big clunky QWERTY keyboard ones. You don't have to worry about that if you don't have them. But yeah, it's, it's just going to take a Texas Instruments graphing calculator. That's all you're going to need. I'm just kidding. That's not really all you're going to need. <laughs> you are going to need a USB to mini USB wire cable thing. <laughs> um, this should have came with your calculator if you bought it from a retail store. It's uh, The calculator is usually just going to come in a box or whatever. It'll have a CD with it. The CD is going to hold the software that you're going to that you're going to use. If you have if you've lost the CD, that's not a problem. You can download it. I'll get into that later. But just to make sure, you are going to need this FireWire, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this will come in the box. It'll, it sometimes this wire comes with cameras. It really just comes with any electronic device that connects to a computer. So you probably have one of these lying around in your house somewhere. Uh, next, you're going to need that TI Connect software by Texas Instruments. This should have came with the CD. If you have lost the CD, you've thrown it out or whatever. I mean, that's what I did. No one cares. <laughs> you can just download it off TexasInstruments.com. Really, if you just Google TI Connect, the, it'll bring you to this page, and that's perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, you can see right down here, these are all the calculators that are supported by the TI Connect and stuff. And it's available for Mac, and it's available for Windows, but it's not available for Linux. And that sucks. Because usually I ru I'm running Linux, but that's why you're seeing me on Windows. But enough complaining, let's get on with the video. <laughs> uh, on the right side of the of the, of the web page, you're going to see Download TI Connect. You're going to see a cute little picture of what the program is and all that. So you're going to want to download TI Connect. You can select TI Connect for Mac. You can select TI Connect for Windows. Usually when you select it, it'll just bring you to the download page. But since I already tested it, I'm going to have to click on it, you know. Okay, so now you can see Download Item TI Connect for Windows or Mac, whatever you click. So you click on that, it'll load up, and there you go. I'm going to keep it. Uh, usually you're just going to run the file straight away if it asks you to like run or save if you're using Internet Explorer or whatever. Yeah, just just run the program. Just Because this is the installer, this isn't the actual program, this is just going to install all the files onto your computer. Um, since I already have this program installed, I'm not going to go through the trouble because it's not actually going to do anything. It'll just ask me, do I want to fix stuff? But yeah, once you've got it installed, just click your start button, go into uh, all programs, all that jazz, and look for TI Tools. It should be in a folder on, the, on uh, in this list. Um, you'll, you'll probably only see TI Connect, all this other jazz on my computer is just programming stuff for TI GCC. But yeah, just go into TI Connect. Shortcut to TI Connect. There you go. It'll give you. It'll give you this little like splash screen. It'll load up and everything. Okay, good. Um, so you're gonna click on TI Device Explorer. This is what you're gonna want to be using. Um, this is when it's gonna search for your hardware and stuff like that. Uh, this is when you're gonna want to connect the calculator to your computer with that USB cable. USB goes into the the USB port on your computer. Mini USB goes into the calculator. It should be on the top, maybe on the right side. I'm thinking that's what it is on the TI-84. So you turn your calculator on, and uh, you can refresh this searching if it's already doing that. And there you go. It found mine almost immediately. USB one. So we're gonna select that. And it's going to connect. This might take a few moments. It'll, it's telling me to please wait. So just be patient, guys. Just be patient. <laughs> so I don't mean to keep you waiting, but... Oh, cool. Looks like it's loaded. So yeah, here you can just explore, hence the name, everything that's in your calculator. Um, application variables. You can see device settings. You can see equations. You can see uh, lists, matrices, numbers and programs. If you're working with me in NullShell.com and stuff like that, this is probably where you're going to want to be. So, all you really do, you can, you can just drag any of these things out of the TI-84, TI, TI Device Explorer, TI Connect, whatever, drag it onto your desktop, drag it into a folder, I don't care, put it somewhere on your computer, it'll start to transfer. Uh, you can select many of these if you hold on the control key when you're selecting them, and that way you just drag them out again. So, yeah. And it'll transfer to your computer. If you want to do that, vice versa, you can. Do, you want to bring a program from the computer on the TI-84, you just drag it over. It doesn't have to be a TI-84, obviously, but, you know. And, yeah, 
I mean, that's all you've got to do. Just make sure you've got a TI Instruments calculator. Well, Texas Instruments calculator. Pardon me. Uh, you got that wire, and you can download TI Connect. And boom, you're done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope this helped you out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.